Now it is time for your exclusive CBS2 forecast. That's right. Lonnie is here, and you're talking snow later yeah. in the week. You know, you just say those words. You get everybody all look, out of a tizzy. Because it's what we, look, everybody talks about it. The minute I say, it's, okay, snow, 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 for the sleeves are not going up. It's nothing like that. It's a small. Small little amount of snow. I'm going to tell you why it's so interesting to me, though, in just a moment. But first, I'll get you outside. There's my picture for you. We do have clouds overhead. The rain is getting closer to the city. I saw a little bit in like Rockland County, saw a little bit in Bergen County. 57 degrees right now. So it has been a mild day. And I made this point earlier. I want to stress it again. You are not going to get the cold air in conjunction with the rain. You get the rain first. The cold air that I'm watching comes in later. High temp today was 61. 14 degrees above the average of 47. What do you expect as we look ahead? Let's talk about all of this because that rain that I see out there should be getting into New York City somewhere around 7 p.m., all right? Give or take a little bit of time on either end of that. But around 7 p.m. for the city itself, it exits the east end of Long Island like around 11 o'clock tonight. So it's a quick mover. It's not a big accumulator of rainfall at all, but it's part of this forecast tonight. Tomorrow, the story is 100% about the cold air that sets up. It's with us all day. It's with us into Wednesday as well. And Wednesday now, with that cold air in place, now we're introducing some moisture. And now you get the chance for some snowflakes to be falling down. So there's that snow chance for Wednesday. And in my seven-day forecast, don't think that cold air is just going to stick around for the entire time because the seven-day will go up. It will go down. I have highs I want to show you that will only be in the 30s. I have highs to show you that will be into the 60s out there. So let's get right to it. Here we have it. Some of that light rain moving through the area. Again, a little bit into Rockland County, maybe Bergen seeing a little raindrop right now. There's some heavier rain out around Binghamton, maybe a little bit of sleet north of that, but most of that's going north of our area. I think you're looking at some raindrops coming through tonight. Not a big amount of rain. Bigger picture will show you. That's actually just fine. Stop it right there. Mid-sized picture, if you will. It really tells the story. Yep, you got this rain moving Moving in the cold air. This is not the cold air I'm watching, all right? I'm watching the cold air down here around West Virginia. That's what's going to be pushing in. And sure, you get the rain, you wait a few hours, and the cold air is in place. So you wake up tomorrow morning. The thermometer is reading 35 in New York City. You know, everybody's cold out there, but with that northwest wind, it's making the temperatures feel colder. It feels like 26 in the city. In fact, I mean, there's some folks north of the air that feel like you're in the teens, but nobody, nobody on the map is feeling like you're waking up tomorrow with a temperature that's above freezing. Temperatures may very well be above freezing, but the wind chill makes it feel worse out there. So you get to the afternoon, high temp 42, wind chill makes it feel like you're in the 30s all day long. Even colder come Wednesday, and sure enough, Wednesday, we have a snowfall prediction map. Mostly coatings for the area, all right? It's not a big snow event. It's not. North of the area, you could see, you know, maybe one to two inches, maybe a couple spots, higher elevated spots, see like a, a three-inch range, but not a lot. Such a cool story, though. Watch this. This low pressure system coming up from the Gulf, loaded with moisture, sets up just not in the perfect spot. It's a little bit outside. This clipper system coming in, they it's just like it's like missing the connection from one bus to the other. It just doesn't merge. We get some, we don't get a lot. It pushes out of here. You get a brighter day uh, behind all that. But the numbers go up and they go down. So 42 for Tuesday, a better looking day. 39 on Wednesday. I'm watching that system because let's say one slows up, the other one picks up in speed. If they merge, we'd have a bigger problem. You are asking me for a forecast. I don't see them merging. I think it's a small event, but it's cold at only 39. And look at Saturday. 60 degrees again. So up and down because it's not even officially winter yet. Um, so we watch, we, we watch all this stuff. All right. Jackets yeah. on, everything's cool. Jackets everything's... on, ties are on, right, cuff right, right. are good. It's nothing coming off. Roller coaster, for sure. Thank goodness. You bet. <laughs> all right. Thank you.